Now she's stamped, and we can remove um, we can remove the mask. And then we want to color her in. And we're going to start with Touch 133 Baby Skin Pink. And we color her skin in. I try not to color over the eyes because you, you want eyes that are sort of white and colors. They're typically not beigey. Also, this stamp allows, if you want, you certainly can uh, use things like liquid pearls or gold, a gold pen to do um, some shading on the pearls. Or if you're looking to do like an earring or something like that, you can do that. Uh, to give her a little bit of shading, so use uh, 139 Flesh. And just follow the shading um, as the stamp gives you. That's often, uh, you know, a really good guide for this kind of coloring. And then just a little bit around the eyes. And I also like to just drop it on the side of the nose a little bit, just for a little more definition. And sort of up under here, under the hair, and down the other side of the forehead. Okay. And then you want to um, take your lighter color and just blend that ever so slightly. You don't need to do tons. Gives her a little bit of shape. We'll go over ear one more time. It's looking awfully light. And give her a little bit of lipstick again with the um, flesh. Bring your lips out a little bit more. A light green, like 47 grass green, maybe for the eyes. Just a little hint of color in there. Um, her hair, uh, E55 light camel, Copic marker. And just a little bit of color. And we're going to give her a purple bow to match her dress. And since I got a little carried away with the brown, that's not going to show up that much. But she's basically colored now. Now what we want to do is stamp on the background. And the background we're going to put on with an Impression Obsession stamp called Flourish. And with... Um, the Impression Obsession Mega Mount. So here's the stamp, and this is a cover of card stamp, so they're quite large. And this is the Mega Mount. You just put this on here, and the Mega Mount's actually, you can see it's got a bit of a curve to it, which makes stamping these just really easy. We're going to use Distress Ink Mustard Seed. You could uh, do a variety of things with this. You could do a couple colors. You could use Tombow markers to create your background, give it a little more interest. I'm just, for the sake of expediency, going to do one color. And then I'm going to, as we did a mask for the, that was a close one, for the dress, we need a mask to, to um, stamp this, we need a mask for her face. So we're going to put that right over top. So we've stamped it, cut it out. We're putting that over top. And then we're going over top with our stamp. Give it a nice firm press. And then when we remove this, we can see that she's in the background. Um, and the uh, background stamp hasn't done anything. The next thing that we want to stamp is the Calm Singing Birds. And what I did with those initially was I arranged them 
right side up so that when then I just arrange them on the paper and then when I place the block I could then pick them up. So, and again we're just going to use some tuxedo black. And being black they'll stand out. There they are, singing away. Happy little birds. So basically, that's that part of the stamping of our card. So then the only um, other things that we have to do at this point is to stamp the items which will then go over the stamp that will complete uh, the front of our card. So what we need to stamp next is the dress, and the dress is Queen of Tarts number three. And what I'm using is memory box paper, and it's in a six by six um, pad. The nice thing, the reason I chose this, and anything that sort of fits that bill will work, is it has a small all over pattern, which makes a great, um, not too overwhelming pattern for stamping the dress onto. So I stamped the dress onto this with Dusty Concord Distress Ink, and then I embossed it with Tsukaneko Clear Embossing Powder, 05 Clear. And then you get this, basically. And then I also stamped with the Dusty Concord onto a bit of um, Simply Smooth, the arms, and the arms are from Queen of Tarts number two, and then the fan from Queen of Tarts number three, as well in the Dusty Concord, onto some Simply Smooth, uh, emboss them, and cut them out. That's pretty straightforward. Then I colored in the dress using the dark blue light number 75 touch marker for this part of the dress. I used some um, Copic YR07 Cadmium Orange for the flowers along with some Touch R5 Cherry Pink and added in a bit of 43 Deep Olive Green Touch for the leaves and then when after I'd cut out the arms I also used a little bit of the Baby Skin Pink on the top of the arms just to give them a skin tone and then I chose to glue them on. If you wanted to, you could use brads and a um, 16th inch hole punch to um, put the uh, mini fasteners, Tim Holtz mini fasteners, or some mini um, brads in there to allow the arms to move if you wanted to. So the dress actually goes on last. What we want to do first is to put on the fan in the middle here. We're going to put on the fan and we're going to put a one inch circle on the back. So just um, grab a one inch or slightly smaller, it doesn't matter, and we're going to punch that out of um, any old cardstock is, is fine. And then we are going to put a hole through the more or less middle of that. And it doesn't have to be exact. It can be rough. And you can use a hole punch if you want to. I am going to. It's not perfect, but it's close. The fan isn't doesn't need to be centered. You just need enough of the fan. Um, you can, the fan in fact can be quite off center. It covers a little bit of that center um, that shows. And then we're going to take a brad. So, as I said, like I, you can get um, mini brads from anywhere. These are the uh, Tim Holtz mini attachers. If there's a color that you like or prefer, 
I'm just going to use something like an antique brass color because I don't want it to be too obtrusive. And we put the brad and through this hole. It comes out through the center at the back. And then through your mechanism, uh, through the, the punch circle. And you can see that that then just covers up your bits. You don't want it too tight, but you can now arrange the fan. And then you'll see that this moves much more smoothly. And the last um, part of making this card, and unfortunately I didn't see <laughs> my camera stop filming. Um, but anyways, the, the last part is very easy. So once we've got the brad um, through the mechanism, what we do then is take the dress and using the thin 1 16th inch um, pop dots, we put, the, we put the dress in place and you just place it where it makes sense to go over the shoulders. Um, remembering to keep the brad so if you'll notice there's no pop dots in there. Um, the pop dots are just down in the lower part of the dress. And then what um, we did was on the leftover piece of paper from the front you stamp your sentiment which is from Beeline and it's don't let life ruffle your feathers. Stamp that on that and then we cut it into strips and I just did it rough with scissors if you'd like to do it more formally and, and more evenly that's that certainly it's it's you do it how you like and again with the 1 16th pop dots um, it's just put in place and then our card is a deep red 5 by 7 card and this time I've used the 8 inch um, pop dots to lift the front of the card up off of the card body itself and that allows the mechanism to move freely and uh, not get caught up and that's basically the card and it's up to you what you'd like to write inside um, but I hope that uh, on following these instructions that you find this fairly easy that it demystifies the whole thing for you a little bit and uh, certainly gives you some incentive to try some other mechanical cards.